Continuing coverage now on what's happening with the Bannister Federal Complex and more importantly, the people who work there. Absolutely. Employees from the site have been sitting in a town hall meeting. Uh, it began about 30 minutes ago. KSH, KSHB investigator Russ Potosik, he covered this story for a couple years about the problems at the Bannister Complex. He's there live. Russ, what are you hearing? Good morning, Curtis and Zhao Zhao. The employees are in right now getting the word from Congressman Emanuel Cleaver and the regional commissioner of the General Services Administration, Jason Klum, on what's happened to them. There's a thousand employees here who are being uprooted and then moved to downtown office space. Now, let me show you what they're moving away from. As you look to the right here and to the edge of where you can see on this building, the building actually continues. And in the same building, there's a secret government program operated by Honeywell, where they make parts for nuclear bombs. Inside that part of the building, over the years, the government has paid out millions of dollars to sick employees that the government has linked their illnesses to toxins from this facility. Our investigation uncovered about 900 toxins at the facility, multiple Superfund sites, and about 450 sick or dead employees. But inside the meeting today, the congressman and the commissioner didn't make reference to that. They made reference to someone being interested in leasing this large 300 acre complex, leasing it all in one large parcel. That's why they're trying, they say, that's why they're trying to move out the GSA employees. At the same time, the Honeywell employees move out in late 2014 so they can bring in new people here. That would put everybody that, that's employed on the GSA side in offices downtown, which haven't been found yet. And employees here are asking, what are they going to have to pay for parking? And is the government going to make any sort of compensation for the extra commute? You know, we're near uh, 70 Highway and Bannister Road, making that extra 15 commute downtown. Uh, employees are asking a lot of questions about how that's going to impact their lives. All right, that is Russ Potosik reporting live there from the Bannister Complex, where employees are in a meeting learning that they will be moved away from the complex. We'll have much more on that story. Russ will continue to follow it for us.